Today, Makere University students had planned to meet at the Freedom Square to hold a general assembly to hear from their guild president about what transpired yesterday during a meeting with the university council. However, police blocked the Freedom Square, firing tear gas to prevent the meeting. This turned chaotic, leading to several running battles between the police and students. We wanted to be so, so peaceful, they chased us roughly from the Freedom Square. The university spokesperson Dr. Muhammad Ichigundo explained some of the key resolutions aimed at ending the protracted protests over the 15% tuition increment. That the 15 adjustment in the fees shall not apply to the functional fees um, and uh, for the remaining period of implementation of the fee structure. Um, adopted in July 2018. They are just giving false information about the entire policy. However, a group of students refused to give up and kept moving all over the university in vain, hoping to reach the Freedom Square as police continued to fire tear gas at them. Before the students exited the university premises, they touched the belongings of their former guild president, accusing him of siding with the university administration. After they were chased out of the university, the students cut off Sir Apollo Kagwa Road, near the university's western gate, where they held more matches. But even here, the police would not allow the students to assemble and cause chaos. <laughs> Business was paralyzed for the better part of the day in this area. When students are striking, there is a mix-up of other community, the bad, the bad characters. So they come in, to find they take our stuff. One motorist was left stranded in the middle of the road after taking copious amounts of tear gas. Right now the students are pelting stones at the police and this is Sir Apollo Kagwa Road. Uh, there are some students who are throwing stones and they are not relenting. Sir Apollo Kagwa Road it has already been blocked by the protesting students. I can see vehicles on the other side, they are all stranded. They are trying to make a U-turn so that they get out of danger. After realizing that some protesting students were hiding in the hostels, police fired tear gas inside. Hmm? Later in the afternoon, some people were injured, including journalists from NTV and the Daily Monitor, after they were hit by tear gas canisters. We were the other side, away from the students who were demonstrating. But these guys of the police, they did just decided to fire canisters of tear gas to us. We are suffering, really. If this was, if you have turned against us journalists, then who will show the public what is happening? Despite the ugly incidents recorded, the university administration is still extending an olive branch to the students. The continuing strife at Makere University caused many to wonder when the protests will end, as this has disrupted lectures for a big number of students. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV Tonight.